Greetings, YouTubes. I am the Pot Scientist, and so are you. This is some... some advice that I want to give to anyone who's submitting samples for marijuana testing. If you're testing your marijuana, if you're testing your cannabis product, this is just how you should think of it. When you give the lab the sample, that's all you're testing. And you need to keep that in mind, because the sample you select may or may not reflect whatever you're saying it reflects. There's natural variation in the cannabis plant. The larf at the bottom of the plant that is in the shade, that's not going to be as potent as the canopy flowers, as the top colas. They're in the light, so they're going to be more potent. So whatever sample you give, that's just one sample. And what does... and this is the job of quality. This is why you need a quality scientist in your operation to interpret what does this actually mean. Does this one lab result actually reflect this entire strain? Does it even reflect the entire plant? So get comfortable. Get comfortable with the natural variation in the plant and realize you're homogenizing by making hash oil. If you mix it up and if you extract it, that's a more homogenous product. Some free advice for any producers out there, any, want, any licensed marijuana business in Colorado or California, wherever. Whatever you're testing is just what you're testing. What does it mean? That's for you to think about. That's for you to decide. Actually, it's for whoever selected the sample to decide, because they're the only one who actually did it. And if you have freedom, use it. Consume responsibly.